just talked about uh, Jeffrey Epstein, okay? And we know Jeffrey Epstein was a major world player, and he had, you know, you know everybody in his, in his pocket, and he had th- something over on every— He basically used uh, CCP tactics, like you just mentioned. He has got a honeypot, and he brings people in, and then he uses it over them, and then, you know, he's basically— they, He mm-hmm. blackmails them and, you, and tells them what to do. I, I just got to ask you, in anywhere in Miles Guo's um, uh, whistleblowing and any information mm-hmm. he got ever got out, has there ever been any ties with the CCP or Xi Jinping and Jeffrey Epstein that you know uh, of? So not Miles Guo, but however, there is a wonderful um, investigative journalist. His name is Frankie Stocks, which last week he was on my show. If you look his research, he actually linked the CCP military with the Humpty Dumpty Institute. The middle layer is one think tank. It's absolutely that think tank I knew because the name is so familiar. The attack mile school. It's called Tai He, T A I H E. Go search it. Tai He Institute. It's not a civilian T-A- what is it? institute. T-H-I- what t-a-i-h-e it's a chinese military owned think tank and look at their advisors on the panel they're all military men they are all pla officials and between the humpty dumpty institute which linked to the aspen uh to the jeffrey epstein the 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 island um, there's a chart that uh, Frankie Stalk developed on National Fire, which is a CCP military on top, and then Tai Her Institute, and then Humpty Dumpty. And then there's a, quite a bit of, of uh, um, a spider net in terms of, of um, intelligence, in terms of a corruption and BGY. 